All right, guys, this is the start. This is how it begins. Basically, I'm just gonna give you the skinny real quick and then we can get into the deep, uh, the depth of the meat and how I'm gonna do it. So you came here for polyphasic sleep schedules. Basically, I'm going to test out for one month sleeping for four and a half hours a day and that's it. So if you wanna keep updated on that for the 30 days that I do it, uh, I couldn't continue it after 30 days, but I'm going to test this trial 30 days four and a half hours straight. Subscribe now and you'll get daily updates. All right, well, now that you've subscribed, we'll get into uh, the meat of the material. So basically, why would you want to actually get this little sleep? It sounds a bit insane. Well, it's just like anything else, right, um, that your body needs. So you really, if you think about it, you only need three things really bad, that's food, water, and sleep, you know. Every single animal in the animal kingdom needs those three things to survive, uh, down to you know, the tiniest worm out there, right? They all need to sleep. And so I think a lot of people in society nowadays actually ignore sleep, and um, I was actually a culprit of that myself. So in the first semester of college that I just recently went to, uh, I kind of just blew off sleep several times. I didn't go without, I went without sleep for three days. I passed out in one of my, one of my math lectures, like just out of the blue, it's just, you know, that's what sleep deprivation does to you. And it's kind of like just, it's like as if your body's eating junk food. It's just, you're not sleeping. It's the same, same thing. So how do I get the best quality sleep for the least quantity and be the same amount of productive? That's really what I'm testing here. And what I mean by the same amount of productive is, is my brain functioning. Because one of the biggest um, things that I discovered whenever I was testing this out, like shortening sleeping and uh, you know, minimizing how much I actually sleep per day and not sleeping for three days straight, is you will straight up just lose short-term memory. Somebody's like, hey, my name's Jen. And I'll be like, all right, 30 seconds later, forget her name completely. Um, same goes with actually learning college material. So this is a really like college oriented thing. And so that'll be interesting. We'll, we'll figure out how that works. Um, so next, how am I gonna get this done? So uh, really, it comes down to basic science uh, that they've actually just recently discovered. Um, and basically, humans aren't designed to sleep the way we do. And that's in one, sh one long burst. Uh, that's how norm normally everybody does it. But really, that's just not the way that, to do it. Um, science has actually proven your body mentally knows how to do it already. So whenever people are in like um, prison uh, where they don't see light, you know, back in the middle evil, medieval era, they slept twice a day. And this is how they do it normally. Well, uh, if you see light, this is how you do it. Uh, you do sunset and sunrise. So your body knows the sun's uh, setting. Okay, it's time to probably go to sleep. Sunrise, wake up. But the big thing is, is that our ancestors actually woke up during the middle of the night. So that's the way I'm going to do it because that's the way our ancestors did it. That's how evolution works and follow the evolution road and your body will take care of take, take care of you, right? Um, and so basically the sunset is 5.30 in Kansas City, that's where I live. And so I will probably be home at that time pretty much every single day this month, um, almost guaranteed and I will make sure that I'm here. So I'll go to sleep then at sunset and I'll wake up in one hour. So that'll be a one hour nap. Then I'll work throughout the night on whatever projects I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm a web developer, and I also need to do homework and other things. You know, I'm a night owl, so we'll see what happens. But um, I'll use that time, and after that time, around four o'clock, I will go to sleep again. That's the key part. It's, you go to sleep, and it's still during the night, right? So I went to sleep for the one hour, and it's still night, and I go to sleep again at four o'clock. And since I go to sleep at four o'clock, I wake up at, at 7.30, which is three hours and 30 minutes. Three hours, 30 minutes, plus one hour equals four hours and 30 minutes, okay? And so we'll see if it works. Um, I wanna see, I'm really interested in the kind of symptoms uh, of sleep deprivation I experience, like if, if at all, you know, because if not, I'll keep doing this and enjoy it thoroughly, really, I will. Um, 
And the reason, I'm, in case you're wondering, is why I'm doing polyphasic sleep schedules uh, of biphasic instead of the crazy ones that you see probably over my right shoulder. I don't know if you can see that, but basically there's a couple other ones called the Uberman and where you sleep like two hours a day and it's crazy stuff. But basically I need to get acclimated in the first place. So, you know, yeah, you dip your toe into it first. Maybe I'll try that another month, another day. But anyhow, there will be daily updates and I'll uh, sh share the science of sleep with you and a bunch of science of, of sleeping and uh, basically my personal experience. Hopefully it goes well and hopefully it's not like last semester when I was had baggy eyes and didn't, didn't uh, sleep well. So we'll see if it works. Bye guys. See you YouTube. First video of many.